What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're jumping in to Star Wars Outlaws. This is going to be my impressions video. I want to say before my official review, I am 61% through the game. Played about 16 hours of the game. Shout out to Ubisoft for providing me with the game early to get this and first impressions out to you guys. The game will be available, I believe, tomorrow for early access users. And then on August 30th for the general public for everyone to jump in. I will be streaming this game over on Twitch tonight. So jump on, follow my Twitch channel. It's gonna be in the description of this video. And it's the same thing like this YouTube video is Daddy Gamer Fred at twitch.com. But let's jump into it. I think Star Wars outlaws is phenomenal not so often we get star wars games that aren't just a jedi saber light battle fighting to save the universe this is a more grounded gritty star wars story that puts you in the shoes of of kate vess i think her name is this takes place in between the empire strikes back and the return of the jedi all the star wars heads that know what that means and the impact of that what that means lore wise and everything knows the significant of that time period but again the game does feel fresh in where it doesn't just stand on the back of the lore and of characters and faces we all know and love it introduces fresh ones to get attached to that feels unique and relatable to a way where you actually care about these characters in this universe in the story that's going on this game has a lot of decision making it feels like every mission any time you are able to make a decision the game lets you decide that decision and depending on which decision you make it feels like the story drastically changes from something that it was going for where you were going to be enemies with one side it, it totally flips to another side and there are four different i want to say four or five different factions that are in the game that you have to keep your respect up or down for juggling all of them to be you know favorable to you is impossible so again it does feel rich in that you never know what's going to happen behind every turn or behind every story plot everything that you get into feels impactful and moves the story forward in a good way where for me makes me want to keep coming back and at least to see this whole thing through. Now I'm playing it on the PS5, so of course it does look beautiful. You're gonna hear it all through my playthrough of me saying, hey my God, or just looking around like, yo, this looks beautiful. Me, throughout the game, you are riding on a speedster, little motorcycle thing, and sometimes the vistas and the, you know, the water effects, everything just looks beautiful when you're riding across the, the, the scenery and you know when it's raining and the sun is rising again it just looks beautiful you could put this game up there with looking as good as something on the ps5 anyway as you know returnal god of war ratchet and clank it stands up there with those games proudly and it looks amazing the world are diverse of you know you go to different worlds where one is a massive desert you go to another world where if you're in a massive jungle you go to another world where it's snowing and then sometimes you fly into space where you get to see deep blacks and stars and asteroids flying around again and seeing the planet off in the distance flying towards the planet nothing beats that experience inside of a star wars game and it does hold up inside this one when you are piloting your sh uh, pil piloting your ship for certain missions not the highest point of the game to, in, to me anyway i'm not a huge plane guy flying around you know shooting x wings out the sky i'm th that was never my love for star wars i think my love for star wars came with the story the lifesavers and stuff like that but it does have it here for the people who love it and it's not terrible it's not terrible. I played through those missions and I uh, generally enjoy them. As you guys know, I love the stealth missions um, in video games in general. And they are plentiful here and they feel really, really good. I love it when you are given a new sandbox or a new place to explore. And they go, hey, you could either blast your way through this place and, you know, set the alarms off, go and gun blazing, or you could sneak through knock out everybody, scavenge through the camp, loot up. That type of gameplay loop 
excites me and I'm excited to do it every time I bump into like a place that I got to look through and find the new upgrades and stuff, new treasure chests and stuff like that. It's very well executed in this game. And to me, the highlight of this game, like, yes, it's an action adventure game. Stealth should have been put on that front for because it does feel like a stealth action adventure game. And granted, yes, you can do guns blazing. You could, you know, beat the game with just knockdowns and takedowns if you are that stealthy. But there are sections in the game where you are forced to bring out the big guns and, you know, shoot your way out of a situation. And for that, the cover mechanics actually feel pretty good as well. You could dive behind certain covers, pop out, shoot, line up shots, even slow down time in a certain situation and ping everybody that's in the room and of course auto kill everyone almost like uh red dead i forget the power in red dead let me know in the comments the the thing that you do in red dead where it stops everything and you just ping the heads and stuff like that so i don't think i said this i think i did uh i was playing um on the ps5 the whole time and i am been using the dual sense this is a regular dual sense i've been using my dual sense edge it's on the charger back there I've been using the DualSense Edge, and it's it's been phenomenal. The adaptive triggers are here. You can turn them off and on. I prefer to play my single-player story games with it on, and it feels phenomenal when you're shooting, when you're riding the jet ski, when you're, I said jet ski, when you're riding the speedster. Um, <laughs> it does do the thing where it basically puts a lot of things on one button, so in certain situations when you want to, you know, take a certain action and you have to press R3, if there's loot in the way, you might pick up the loot before you actually make the, you know, the jump to throw the, I forget the thing, like the, the your hook shot. And to me, that is like the worst feeling in the world when you're running, trying to make an escape. You press R3 to throw your you know, hook shot so you could swing across the gap and your character just falls to his death because it tried to pick up the loot that was on the floor. Talk about the loading. The loading. There is none. There is no loading. I There is loading in the game when the game starts up. There is loading when you fast travel. There is loading when you, I believe, when you travel to other planets, when you leave the planets. Let me tell you, it, it's, it's about 10 seconds. So I think Star Wars Outlaws is a must play for any Star Wars fans and anybody that has an open world itch right now. If you love, well, if you love what Ubisoft does with the Assassin's Creed games and you want something before the brand new Assassin's Creed game, this is definitely for you. If you're not a Star Wars fan and you just want something to like live in a brand new world to experience, this is definitely for you. And as a Star Wars fan, this one gives you a perspective that we never really see. We always get the story about a bounty hunter running from planet to planet looking for, you know, its hits and killing them or whatever the case may be. We always get the story about a, you know, Jedi becoming and learning the Force and learning that they are a Jedi. We always, you know, did the movie stuff, just retold or repackaged. We never had a story where you play as someone who is in this predicament without spoiling too much it's like a rebel but but it's not a a a part of the empire but it's not through the eyes of like an like an outlaw just trying to make it day by day trying to earn some credits you know what i'm saying spend the credits gambling with its you know trusty sidekick throughout the whole adventure i haven't even spoken about nix nix is the homie he's the homie for life now as much as nix has helped me throughout this game he is the homie for life. I will forever respect Nyx. To me, it's one of the best Star Wars games that we got in recent years. And as well as one of the best games that I played on PS5 in a while. So let me know your thoughts and opinions of Star Wars Outlaws. Are you going to be copying it? Let me know what you want to see on the channel. I am going to be posting my playthrough as well as my full review whenever I fully complete this game. Again, this is just like my first impressions, but my full thoughts about everything about what I played so far. And again, I'm 61%, so I'm almost finished. 18 16 hours into the game i want to say that i probably got like maybe up to 20 21 24 hours into this game until i'm done i don't really i'm not a huge fan of giving scores to games before i beat it but if i had to i would probably be at the eight five nine section of what i'm feeling right now 
Let me know if that's if you think that's too high based on everything I said. But let me know your thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws. Like I said in the comment section below, as you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. And plus, I could talk now about Star Wars Outlaws. So if you have anything in particular that you want to ask about the game, let me know. I could talk about it in the comments with you as well as on my Twitch stream. I'm going to be live streaming this game on Twitch. So you can stop by and check me out playing it live tonight as well as tomorrow pretty much until i complete it i'm gonna be streaming this so you can find me on twitch at daddy gamer fred slash twitch if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it again click that subscribe button it does help me out also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one daddy gamer fred the trash you trash freddy your mama